Okay, we're now going to show the Meridian DPA when it's tied into a laptop computer. Okay, now in order to run heart rate variability, we're going to click on this button here, which sets it up so we're going to run heart rate variability. And do we have test uh, name up here? Do we have our name up there on test? Yes. Yeah, so we have the, the test name displayed up here. And so now go ahead and we're going to press the arrow right here and that starts our heart rate variability. And this is a five minute test. And it is a separate test. And you can see the progress as we start going across on the bar down here at the bottom. And what we're seeing up here is a graph for the heart rate variability. This is each measurement as it goes through and puts a dot on there. So we'll see that. The uh, tachygram right here is displayed in pieces. So as it moves across here, we're seeing a piece of the tachygram uh, instead of the whole thing. This gives us an expanded view of what it looks like. And when it comes out on a report, it'll be all there. Right now, it comes over, it goes to the end. When it gets to the end, it starts and goes back through. Here we're seeing our PTG wave. The other things on this page will be filled out when we're done. Okay, we're almost to the end of this five minute test right now. You can see the bars moved over to this point. Uh, we're coming right up on the end. And we'll talk about the balance between the parasympathetic sympathetic and how this applies. Then we'll go down and talk a little bit about these, these uh, total power uh, VLF, LF, and HF, and uh, where they are in relationship to these shaded areas. So here we are coming up on the 100%. Uh, and when we get there, we need to press this, which clears that. And we can see in this case, we're almost perfectly balanced between sympathetic and parasympathetic. Uh, we call this a, uh, a balanced uh, autonomic nervous system. We can see over here, it shows normal right in this range. Now, if we look over here at where we are in relationship to these frequencies, in every case, we're above the shaded area, which is really good. If we were on the shaded area, that would be normal. This we would call very normal or excellent. If we're below it, then we have concern in total power, VLF, LF, and HF. A whole bunch of numbers down here. We can go into those when we get into the reports and talk about this. Here's our heart rate variability. And here's the last part of the tachygram over here. There are other indicators on here. We'll talk about this later when we get into uh, interpretation. We'll talk about these areas later into interpretation also. You can see the heart rate, in this case, was a little high at 98.